Hello people, today I'm going to show you how to do this very cool text shake effect with your Final Cut Pro 10. And there are two ways today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it first. So this is the basic default title, and the easiest way to do it is to go to the effects column, find, you know, earthquake, and just drag this over to your title. And as you can see, it's already blurry, so I'm going to bring down the value of the amount to zero first but mixing out the layers first. And then I'm gonna create a few keyframes. Easy, I'm gonna create first this keyframe here, and then the, say a few frames later, I'm gonna max up the amount, say to this value, and then create another keyframe, a few frames later, and a few frames later, bring it to zero, and hit play. Yeah, something like that. And if you think the effect is too fast, you can just bring, you know, these keyframes further apart, like this, and hit play. Yeah, something like that. And if you want this effect to be even more dramatic, you can just, you know, uh, space out the words like that. And of course, size this thing up. And then I'm gonna change the position of the text as well. And let's try it out. Yeah, simple and easy. And then let's move on to the next version of text shake effect. First, you need to go to the titles tab and find basic title and just drag it to your timeline. After that, just go to the effects tab and find bad TV and just drag it over, put it on your title. And then go to the inspector, find bad TV and just bring the amount back to zero. And then right click on the title and find show video animation. After that, go to the start of the clip and click a keyframe at the amount of bad TV. And then a few frames later or a few seconds later, just create another keyframe. And then just, you know, drag up the amount a few seconds or few frames later. And then bring down the amount back to zero. And let's check the result as you can see that the effect is kind of a laggy one so I'm gonna make this very neat and clean and short so I'm gonna move the keyframes you know, closer and then create another keyframe at the back and bring back up the amount say 27 and let's hit play Yep, the duration is a little bit long, so I'm gonna make the distance between these four keyframes a little bit shorter, something like that. Yep, just make sure that the distance between the second and third keyframe is a little bit short. And yep, I think this effect is still sort of long, so I'm gonna move this distance even closer and make the third and the first keyframe closer to the second and third keyframe and maybe just drag the the first ever keyframe closer to the cluster of the four keyframes and shorten the duration of the entire you know titles duration and yep let's hit play now is about the right time for this um, text shake effect and I'm rather satisfied with this result, so I'm gonna create a row, keyframe for row, and then first keyframe is always at zero, then bring up the value, and then maybe in the middle, bring down the value, and then again, I'm gonna bring back up. Yep, something like that, and the very last keyframe, bring it back to zero. So it's going to look like this. And then I'm gonna change the title to shake and change the size of this title and change the tracking of this title as well and change the font to say um, Gloss and Bloom. I think it's a very nice title. And as you can see that after I've already changed the font, the shaking part is kind of different. So I'm gonna change the duration. And as you can see that there are two sets of keyframe. This is because the white color one is the amount keyframe and you can't actually change the black color one even you double clip is just you know showing the linear graph of this you know uh, keyframe just go to the 
uh, upper left hand corner and change to row and now you can change the keyframe the white color now is actually row and for me I'm gonna just shorten the time for the rolling you know, effect so to just to keep it short and neat of course I can choose it to be you know or showing both keyframe both sets of keyframe but you know it's kind of messy I'm done with you know the first vertical shaking part of this text shake effect and then for now I'm gonna add in the horizontal shake effect for this text shake effect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the inspector find transform and create a keyframe and position and go to the bottom left hand corner and click transform and then I'm just gonna press my right arrow key and just you know change the position of this text shake effect by pressing right arrow key and you know move on to the next keyframe next frame actually and then just change the position and click down yeah you know it's like shaking all over the place so I'm gonna you know uh, bring this text shape to a wider range because you know it's kind of like clustered together just now so I want it to be a little bit wider and let's see yeah now it's better but I'm gonna go to the end create a keyframe and make position for both X and Y axis to be zero and go to start create a keyframe and make X and Y axis to be zero and as you can see that this brings out a very clear and distinct uh, cluster of keyframes over here and you know this is going to be easier for me to adjust all the keyframes and especially if you are uh, you know adding in sound effects like me and yep it's easier to identify which part you're going to you know add in sound effects and that's the sound effect that I choose is the glitch effect and that's the end of today's tutorial hope you guys enjoy this short tutorial and thank you bye bye